What's going on YouTube? This is Jim Afanis, and right now there isn't much that can take me away from the fun I'm having with both the uh, Xbox One and the fun I'm having with Fallout 4. But there is one thing, and that is StarCraft. Now, this is the collector's edition for the Legacy of the Void, and I thought I'd open it for you guys while I talk to you a little bit about some of the goodness that has been coming from Blizzard lately. Um, I got into the Overwatch beta about two days ago, and it seems like that's all I've been playing ever since. And uh, I knew that eventually I would have to transition over to a little bit of StarCraft, at least to know how the story ends. I'm not ultra competitive in terms of online gameplay, although the new co-op mode does look like a ton of fun. And I think that's something that's going to be really, really enjoyable um, going into the... Jeez, uh, tight little box, ain't it? That's something that's going to be really enjoyable going into the future because the truth is, um, I really need the help. <laughs> so, getting that is going to be uh, pretty cool. But, I did decide to uh, invest a little bit in the Legacy of the Void Collector's Edition. Um, I am a late to the party StarCraft fan. I didn't get on board until StarCraft 2. So, I didn't pick up the uh, previous two Collector's Editions of the both for the original uh, Wings of Liberty and then for Heart of the Swarm, but better late than never, right? <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and take this thing apart. This is a really hefty, heavy box. I know it's uh, probably hard to tell because the tablet has a little bit of a glare to it, but this is a really thick, heavy box. It really feels very sturdy, and it's nice because a lot of these collector's edition packaging isn't really that great. Um, you guys saw the Fallout video I did with Rachel the other night where we looked and were like, wow, the case is really, really nice. Unfortunately, boxes seem to be an afterthought, but this is a really nice heavy-duty box. So, inside is um, everything sealed up in plastic. So, I guess I'm going to need my knife yet again. <laughs> so, let's, uh, let's dig into this. First and foremost, we have the Legacy of the Void uh, behind the scenes dvd so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and we'll check it out i believe it's just a dvd is inside the only thing that is there um i believe they recorded a lot of stuff that they were working on and we got to we get to see a little bit of that now i know during blizzcon they unveiled a few things as well like uh the sound stage was one of my particular favorite panels where they talk about some of the ways they pulse weapons and noises and that sort of thing. And it's really neat to get into that. Um, obviously, Halo 5 has picked up a lot of that with the uh, Sprint, where they show a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff there. So inside, it's a two-DVD set. Oh, actually, I lied. It's one DVD twice. <laughs> you have the uh, D not one DVD, one behind-the-scenes. How about that? One is DVD and one is Blu-ray. So I'll have to check that out. That looks really, really cool. Um, super, super thin little case, but that's okay. I don't know how many times I'll rewatch it, but I'll definitely just watch it once and I'll throw it on the bookshelf behind me. Inside, we also have the official game DVD, which the only thing I care about in the game DVD, and I'll go ahead and open this up uh, for you guys now. You can see the inside, is the code. I know a lot of people are invested, myself included, in the battle.net app which pretty much manages everything you could ever want it to do and um, obviously there's nothing really to re-download the, the app really kind of does handle everything for you so i have legacy of the void probably already pre-installed i would guess and all this is going to be is the activation code which is the only thing i care about so i'm going to hide the quick start guide for you but there are some um, other neat little uh, souvenir type things in here i'll show you these let me slide this box off to the side just for a minute Inside you have the game DVD with a 25% discount to BlizzCon and there's a redemption key. This would have been really, really nice to have when I was ordering some stuff um, from the battle.net for the BlizzCon convention, but that's okay. There is a guest pass that you can give to a friend. The guest pass allows a person to um, play the game, play a section of StarCraft II missions, challenges the multiplayer for free. Note that certain game features are restricted, so you get a code for that. There's a couple other codes. Uh, here's a World of Warcraft code that allows you to play up to level 20 for free. I don't think that you need a code for it anymore. I thought it was absolutely free now for everyone to get up to level 20. Um, obviously, the Legacy of Void key, which I'm not going to show you guys. And also, a uh, three free packs of Hearthstone cards, which I will actually use. So, that's kind of neat. So, 
you get the cards and you get um, some other little 20, you know, little discount kind of things. That's kind of neat. Game case looks very nice. Uh, our tan is played, displayed proudly on the front where he belongs. What else is in the box? We also have a StarCraft II Legacy of the Void soundtrack. Now, this is actually really, really neat. And this is one of the big reasons on why I bought this collector's edition is because I am a huge fan of the StarCraft music. Um, the Terran music. I think it's called, I think the theme is it's called Terran Theme. It, it's one of my absolute favorite um, arrangements. It's got some really cool violin to it. It has a little bit of electric, or maybe it's not electric, it might be acoustic guitar in there, but it's just, it's really, really pleasant to listen to. And that was one of the big reasons why I wanted to pick up this collector's edition, because I'm a huge fan of Blizzard's music. I think they do a great job of really encapsulating a lot of themes with some really interesting uh, arrangements. So inside, um, well, first and foremost, I guess I'll show you this again. Here is the official soundtrack, and then on the back is a list of all the songs. There's quite a few. I'm looking at the names here when I was opening it. I don't recognize any of them. Um, there are a total of 21 tracks. My Life for R is the name of the song. The Dark Voice, Unity, The Keystone, Blades of Justice. So obviously you'll hear a lot of this. And it's uh, insights from Jason Hayes. There's a little foreword in here regarding um, kind of what the inspiration was in terms of the soundtrack. And also inside is a little, uh, a little sleeve, I guess, <laughs> if you wanted to um, make an actual CD case, this is a very odd. This almost looks like an alien. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be sort of like an maybe like an infant uh, Zer, uh, Protoss. I don't know what that is, but I guess if you wanted to have a uh, official like jewel case and you wanted to have something in front that would stand out in your collection, this would totally be the place for it. So I'll definitely be putting this in my truck later today when I take the missus out for dinner. And we're going to have to listen to that. Uh, lastly, inside the box, I'm going to push the box off to the side for just a minute here, is the field manual. Now, this says classified field manual, uh, Marine Corps combat hooks, uh, combat corps, veteran edition, volume one, classified, not for distribution. Well, they already screwed up on that because I have a copy of it. But let's go ahead and open this up. I'm not entirely sure what this is. And um, I, like I said, I, I didn't really look too much into what the collector's edition entailed because I was so invested in the CD. I was like, oh, a CD, I want it. So um, there's also a lot of little digital goodies that come with this as well. If you bought the game, there's some cool synergies. You got Artanis early in Heroes of the Storm. Anyways, let's open this book and look inside. It's a very hefty book. It's uh, got Jim Rayner on the cover, and this is... Um, Let's see what, I'm just going to scan through a few of these. This is actually really cool. There's actually something else in here, probably a poster. We'll open that last. This is amazing. I'm going to try to do my best to actually capture some of this for you guys here. Let me move this other stuff off to the side so I can get this up close and center for you guys to see. Uh, let me move my head here so you can see. There you go. Do you see there's a detailed uh, view of what the bunker is? And it tells you it's got specifics to it. It tells you the role, the armament, the size... Um, there's some, it's, it's a serious book. Um, it says, and then there's some jokes that are inserted handwritten in here. Here's an example. New Dominion models feature more spacious interior and it's circled under spacious interior. And it says, now we could use some chairs. Pretty, pretty please. But this is really cool. This is pretty much every unit in the game. If you wanted to know more about the immortal, um, here is the immortal for you guys. You could check that out. And it includes all the details. It's got a really neat kind of a character sketch almost of what um, what the character was about. Um, some of its roles, its armaments, its effectiveness, its ineffectiveness. And then it gives you, let's see if it does it on every single one. It does actually. It gives you, let me open this and show you guys this again. It shows you a scale actually of what it looks like next to a marine. <laughs> so you can see the marine over uh, on the opposite side of where my finger is. And then... You can see how this uh, stacks up against some of the other characters. And this looks like it's pretty much every single unit in the game. The mothership, the pylons, the gateways. And in the back, there's actually some full color photos of um, all the different, you know, some of the character artwork. So here is the, oh, there's even more stuff coming out. Oh, this is actually a trifold. There's some trifolds in here. There's a... Spear of Anduin schematics. There's some other schematics. And then 
just some really nice color photos in the back showing off some of the um, some of the sketch art from the game. You could see there's some of the Protoss characters. There's the Spear of Edwin. There's Nova. Looks like this is one of the mechs, maybe, in the game. So very, very, very cool. This is actually a really nice collector. And I'm actually looking forward to reading through this because um, there's a lot of information in here. I mean, and it, again, you know, written that, if you look at the foreword, now that I'm kind of thinking a lot as I'm opening through this, um, it talks about how this is a uh, greeting soldier. This is from the Lieutenant Tug Commandant, who kind of gives you like a field book. And to this end, I present you a technical field manual. Think of it as your survival guide. Thanks to the uh, efficiency of the Dominion Intelligence uh, section, every known incredible threat in our sector is detailed here. Study it well. So there's quotes from different characters. This is really, really cool. I, I really appreciate this. This is, this is actually probably my favorite part of the collector's edition outside of the soundtrack. Um, lastly, there was a piece of paper in here. I'm guessing it's a poster, unless it was just filling. Uh, let's see what is in here. Here is a sketch, top secret, Dominion Special Research Operation, and here is a schematic of a mothership. Now that is actually really, really cool. Um, you can see at the top there's a legend across the top to kind of give you rough specifications as far as how big is it, how big it is. It talks about like if you were to break it down. Um, specialized scanners required to defeat the cloaking field. Armor plated and usually thick. Exact resiliency remains unknown. And this is redacted. Um, there's some stuff in here that's redacted. And this is this is like a blueprint drawing. Like if you were gonna, um, if you were looking in some prints or whatever, you have in the bottom corner here the uh, the guy who wrote it together. And a lot of times you'll see this in engineering prints or drawings. So very very neat. Um, I will probably end up depending on how bad the crease is in the center. A lot of times when they put these folders together, they crease it, and it looks a little. That's unfortunate. It's got a big crease in it, but that could definitely be something that goes in the frame. So let me look at the back here real quick to make sure I didn't miss anything, because you know me, always prepared, right? Reclaim your legacy. It includes a StarCraft Legacy of the Void PC mat game, exclusive behind-the-scenes DVD uh, disc set, collector's edition soundtrack, the StarCraft field manual, and then here's the in-game content. I'm glad they listed it for us here, which obviously I can't show you. You're just going to take my word for it. Uh, dominate in style with the purifier unit skins and a noble new look for your Protoss, Adepts, and Colossus, and unlock three new Protoss-themed portraits. If you and that's for StarCraft 2, so you get portrait skins and then you actually get new models for the Adepts and the Colossi, which is really, really neat. If you're a World of Warcraft player, which I am not, but if oh, not anymore, <laughs> uh, if you were, you can pick up a um, little Kalahi guy. So, this is actually, I'm going to show you his picture there, it's the second one down. Um, they have little companions. I remember when I did play Warcraft, we had Crusader Grunty, um, which was really, really fun. We, I also had Jim Rayner, like a little Murloc Grunty. That's really, really neat. Uh, Diablo 3, you get a Pro Pet and a Protoss Transmogrification. Face of Demonic Soldiers of the Burning Hells, protected by the latest Protoss Forged Armor. So it's a shoulder pad and helmet that looks very similar to... Well, you know, that Protoss look with a lot of the, you know, very like what our, uh, Artanis has is a lot of like the blue, like um, kind of pointy metallic looking things. And then also you can get a little Protoss probe that follows you around as a non-combative pet. You also get a Hearthstone Protoss themed card back and a Void Speeder mount in Heroes of the Storm. So amazing, amazing set. I believe all in told, I'm going to try to prop everything back up here as I give you guys my final verdict on it. It comes with the box here. Um, did I put this on the right way? It comes with the game DVD, the soundtrack, the field manual, the behind the scenes DVD. Did I already say that? Quite a few things. And then the field manual here. And then the poster. Uh, this is a lot of stuff. Um, for the price, I believe I want to say this was 80 bucks. Uh, again, as you guys know, I'm a huge uh, proponent of the Best Buy Gamer Club Unlocked, which gives you 20% off everything. So I believe I paid probably in the ballpark of maybe 60 to $65 for this after taxes and everything. And I could be wrong, but 
That seems like a good enough amount, but this is really incredible. The field manual is something that I haven't really seen before, and I'm curious if the other editions actually had what kind of uh, collector's editions were in the other two sets. I know that this box, um, I've seen people post all three boxes, so I know that this is the same artwork. So if you're trying to get a set of all three races in StarCraft II, you could. Um, but this is very, very good. Um, obviously, I'm a huge StarCraft fan. Anything you give me that's behind the scenes is going to be amazing. Anything you give me that has um, any insight to this world and how it's created, it's really fascinating. And Blizzard Entertainment as a company has always been one of my favorites. I heard somebody recently say, I'm not a gamer, I'm a Blizzard gamer. And everybody was like, yeah, that's actually really cool. I actually heard that on BlizzCon. And I totally agree with that. I mean, this, this is a great company. I have to give this, um, geez, I guess a 9 out of 10. I, I don't really know what else, why it wouldn't be a 10. Maybe because the poster's folded, I don't know. But this is an absolutely incredible set for the true collector, for the guy who's really into the lore and the behind the scenes and the making of and the different soundtracks where you could take this, you can now, through this collector set, let me say it this way, through this collector set, you can now take the StarCraft world with you when you're not logged into your PC. This is something you definitely want to display to your friends. This is something that's really you know, definitely something to be proud of. It's it's a very, very cool set. My hat's off to Blizzard once again. You guys did an amazing job with this. And uh, I already pre-ordered the Overwatch Collector set. So in about another six or so months, we'll do this again unless we get something else in the interim. And knowing my wife or me, I'm sure there is. But hope you guys enjoy the unboxing video. I'm going to go ahead and jump on and play a little of this, which uh, I'm very, very excited to check it out. And um, as always... Thank you guys for watching. Please do me a favor. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the StarCraft II uh, Legacy of the Void Collector's Edition. Let me know what you guys think about the game as a whole. You know, this is it for StarCraft II. So enjoy it while it lasts. As always, thanks for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.